So today we are going to see an important topic from the unit three. Uh, Dama, it is called as D A M A, demand assigned multiple axis. Okay. So we are based on the demand. We are going to assign part, uh, particular frequencies. Okay. You might have got so much of gap between these sessions and all those things. Let me give you a quick review. So we are basically dealing with the satellite communication how a user can access several signals using satellite. It can be for telecommunication purpose. It can be for any kind of purpose. Okay. So whenever you want to communicate from any part of the world to the another part, we are using some earth stations where these earth stations are called as uh, like a huge antenna system. Okay. Which are located on the earth which is able to communicate with the satellites. And we already know what are these satellites, okay? These are nothing but a man-made machines which are placed in the orbits or in the space, okay? Uh, which helps in gathering the information from several parts of the world. And whenever you request some information, it will give you some response, okay? So we have seen several artificial satellites, natural satellites, okay? And mainly for the communication purpose, we are talking about artificial satellites, which we are using mainly for the uh, communication purpose for a telecommunication kind of thing or any kind of, thing, okay. Now here, the picture, what you see are small antennas, what you see here. So these are the antennas, which are placed on the earth stations, earth station and time on earth midunde particular communication system offices, which will be keep on communicating with the satellites which are in the orbits okay so all these antennas will be communicating according to the requirement what we need so suppose we are on a phone conversation let us say okay so all the signals what we are using nowadays are wireless right so all the phone conversation or dth tv signaling systems or any kind of signaling system mostly everything is wireless so if at all you are going for a wireless communication system means you need to remember that there is a presence of satellite. Okay. So earth stations will be communicating with the satellite. Coming to this topic, as you see the Dama, okay. D-A-M-A, demand assigned multiple axis. Okay. So multiple axis can be assigned. Okay. Based on the demand. Whose demand? The demand can be who will be using this communication system? Obviously, users, telecommunications, gani, um, like mobile communications, gani, TV communication system, or any kind of communication system. The ultimate goal is to reach the users, like common public, okay, or some uh, research kind of or defense kind of uh, communication system. So, at the most, or the, uh, ultimately, who is using all these services? Normal people, okay. So, here, normal people are considered as uh, users and these users are requesting some signals to the satellites and they are getting some response from the satellite and those responses or the signals will be assigned. Okay. Let me give you an example. Why there is a need only based on demand. Okay. What happens if you continuously keep on giving uh, signals, demand signals, what happens? Let's see. Okay. See, so demand assigned multiple axis Dama is a technology used to assign a channel to clients, clients meet our users, whoever are using the networks. Okay. It can be television or it can be mobile communication system, or it can be any other thing. Okay. So these clients, they do uh, need not to use it constantly. Let me give an example. Suppose we are using a mobile phone. Okay. So or a smartphone, mostly the smartphones or the mobile phones are majorly used for either for communication purpose or to uh, do some uh, data transmission kind of thing. Would Google a search as you are searching something or you are chatting or you are talking on a phone. Okay. It can be through the data net or through a uh, SIM kind of related uh, uh, services. Okay. SIM through aina avocha or data through aina avocha, even data also you are getting services through SIM only, right? So all these operations are happening through wireless. And suppose you are watching television, TV, okay? 
So almost nowadays, all the TVs are connected to a DTH and that particular box is connected to a dish, which is again connected to a service provider like uh, Airtel or some other uh, service providers. And these service providers are connected with some uh, satellite communication services. So what's happening? It can be a watching a TV or it can be uh, uh, a conversation or usage of phone. Will it be 24 hours? No, right? Okay. It can be any kind of communication system. There will be a proper timing. Okay. So nobody will use unless it is mandatory for some communication purpose like uh, uh, NASA related applications or some research kind of applications or some services which need to run definitely for 24 hours. Apart from that, or some live streaming uh, streaming is going on using a satellite. A 24 hours coverage. Okay. So we need to take that coverage 24 hours live. Okay. At that point of time, we need a service 24 hours. Otherwise, if at all you are watching a TV, I, I hope nobody will watch the TV for 24 hours continuously, unless you switch it on and keep it like that. And one more thing, nobody will be on a phone conversation or keeps on chatting 24 hours. Okay. He when he is a uh, pro in that. Okay. So there will be some gap intervals time, okay, between a call to a call or anything. It is with respect to a single user. I'm talking with respect to a single user. If at all a single user is using a service like phone or Google or any kind of TV watching kind of thing, okay, he may, he cannot use all the 24 hours, right? So why there is a need of giving a fixed service or a or we can say uh, a fixed channel to that particular user. I'm taking some service. It can be a TV or mobile communication. Okay. So if you assign a particular channel to each and every user, okay, there will be a lot of wastage. What wastage with respect to the channel bandwidth? Okay. So the main concept of demand assigned multiple access is nothing but whenever a user requires that particular service, then only the channel will be assigned. Okay. So which satellite will be keep on working with respect to all these services means Leo satellite. Okay. Can anyone say what is Leo, Leo satellite? Leo satellite. Lower Earth orbit. Yes. Lower Earth orbit. Uh, lower Earth orbits. Okay or lower earth orbit satellite the satellites which are very very near to uh, to the earth and which keeps on moving around the earth okay so mostly our mobile communication systems okay all these things are a kind of satellite point to point communication systems or few communication systems are mostly done by this leo lower earth orbit satellites which are very 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 nearer to the earth okay so Whenever you want to provide a mobile communication systems or kind of uh, uh, some kind of uh, uh, TV communication systems, okay, these uh, Leo satellites helps in providing this kind of flame. And that also, whenever there is a demand, okay, instead of giving each and every channel to each and every user, okay, whenever there is demand, suppose India, if you take in uh, India, the mobile users, Okay, compared to the using of the mobile services in the daytime is very, very high compared to the nighttime. Okay, so based on that, the channel can be assigned. Okay, so demand assigned multiple access means multiple access will be given to the users based on the demand. Okay, this is one of the important topic from this unit mark. Okay, uh, it might be asked in your external as well. So if you go to the concept, it was first developed by the US government in 1968. Okay. So in, in Dama, okay, the stations may reserve a slot in advance to transfer the data or frame. So the main advantage is suppose uh, I'm running a company. I have a huge service. I need to give a service to some uh, thousands or one lakh of people service. I know when my uh, customer uses more services from me okay so what i will do is i will buy or subscribe the particular satellite in such a way that 
at a particular time they give services with high bandwidth and high frequency okay and at whenever the services is le uh, less suppose ipl time on some uh, matches jarutune anukundam at that time the tv usage is more compared to a normal days so what happens the sports channel or the sports service providers what they do they access the satellite services in such a way that they will get huge bandwidth and huge uh, frequency or the channel slots at the particular time of the match okay live stream epudaithe jarugutundo appudu maatrame they will access whenever the match or the, that particular season finishes there may not be that much requirement and the requirement under coach okay so in advance they will they can also uh, uh, book a slot or re reserve a slot for the data transfer or particular usage of the services that is one positive point about dama okay and it allows the users to access satellite at a time okay so any users unna gani or any service providers unna gani you can access the satellite okay at a single time i mean or at a time you can access multiple persons or the multiple users can access that particular satellite here which satellite is giving service for us in this concept leo satellite yeah low earth satellites okay low earth orbit satellites are giving services for that okay the main advantages of accessing that particular leo satellite is the point to point communication will be uh, done okay so if epudaithe demand untundo appudu manam channels ni penchukochu okay channels or the bandwidth anedi penchukochu so epudaithe manaki demand takku untundi number of usages anu takku untado we can limit our channels okay so it is a technique where number of users shares a limited set of channels okay and by this uh, what happens whenever a particular link is no longer in use okay the bandwidth is immediately assigned to the reused by others okay suppose two countries are there or uh, two states of different uh, two, two states of the same country is accessing something okay so eppudaithe oka state anedi dan access or some two companies are accessing same kind of services okay so eppudaithe oka company use chesukotledo aa link ni valaki disconnect chesi evaraithe ekko use chestunnaro valaki you can reassign or they can reuse that particular bandwidth okay due to which more data will not be wasted or more communication system uh, technology will not be wasted okay so the major concept of dama is to giving access to the public or the users or the service providers okay based on the demand 